pinpoint weather and traffic together. Michelle, I don't remember the last time we had a beautiful Saturday. Are we in for good weather this weekend? We're looking pretty good this weekend. It's going to be warm, very muggy on Saturday and a little murky to start. There's an isolated shower in the forecast, but I expect most of the activity will be today and tonight in terms of any showers and thunderstorms already tracking some activity. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar I'm quiet right now in Rhode Island, but I'm keeping my eye on a thunderstorm that's moving across southwestern Connecticut and Long Island. You can see our lightning tracker here in Long Island Sound finding those cloud to water lightning strikes. This is moving east at about 25 miles per hour and over the next couple of hours certainly could undergo some changes, but if this were to keep tracking east, it could be arriving in parts of westerly Block Island as we head into the late morning hours. So try that again here and making its way potentially towards coastal Rhode Island by 11 a.m. westerly Block Island, maybe 1130. And if it can hold together lunchtime in the Newport area, this is what the view looks like in Narragansett. A lot of low clouds, kind of misty and damp too this morning. Overcast skies, Oakland Beach and Warwick. Our shower threat pretty scattered through the day today. Isolated storm tomorrow, dry skies for the second half of the weekend and for the eclipse for us in southern New England. 72 degrees in Cumberland right now, 73 Warwick. We're going to slowly work our way to the upper 70s today, and then that's it for the temperatures this afternoon. Newport right now, 72. Warm front's going to be moving through. You can already feel that that warm air is in place, or at least a very muggy air is in place. Biggest risk with any storms that were that would be uh, developing today, heavy rainfall. In terms of any severe weather, the risk is much greater to our west. You can see those yellows, slight risk of severe storms, mostly focused towards the New York City area, and some of that will bleed into uh, western Connecticut, but those storms expected to diminish as they hit the cooler, more stable ocean air here in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So keep those umbrellas handy today, off and on needing them with those scattered showers through the evening hours. Maybe getting a good soaking overnight tonight in some communities, and then the good news is by tomorrow morning, the clouds moving out most of the day looking dry. Just a small chance of a quick shower. So keep those Saturday plans in place. Today, I'd have a backup plan. Don't necessarily need to cancel outdoor activities, but not a great end to the week for summertime activities, whether it's the beach or the pool. Few showers at the beaches today in a thunderstorm. Safe sun time, 30 minutes or more. Heads up, moderate rip current risk in our waters today and in the bay. Small craft advisory starts this afternoon with winds picking up, gusts to 20 knots. We're going to be building our wave heights as we move into the evening hours. Some fog, some showers, lots of clouds, and muggy, muggy muggy air for us with temperatures that are in the mid 70s. Keeping an eye on the tropics, we've got Harvey and possibly Irma going to be developing in the next day or two. None of those threatening our area through your seven day future cast 78 for today. 86 warm and partly sunny on Saturday. Going to be a very muggy start to the weekend. Isolated shower mostly through or before noontime and then Sunday looking warm and dry beaches this weekend close to 80 degrees. Solar eclipse. As Rosie mentioned, happening Monday afternoon, maximum eclipse time for us, 2.47 in the afternoon. It looks good weather-wise, mostly sunny skies.